Good afternoon. My name is Carl Ness, and today I'm going to share with you my social enterprise called Compete for Community Investment. Now, there are two key takeaways that I want you to have from this uh, uh, presentation today. One, that we want to promote sustainability, and two, that we want to provide funding for sustainable development projects in your community. Now, the picture on the left here is a uh, picture of what a successful modern economy looks like. Well, the picture on the right is what that economy has to work with, and that is one night planet. Now, I could sit here all day and talk about sustainability with you guys, but I want to highlight one underlying factor, which is that there's a lack of in uh, incentive to act sustainably currently. Now, what I propose is that we make sustainability fun. Now, this might sound a little bit weird or a little bit crazy, but it is possible through the competition that brings a community of people together. Now, I uh, see this competition being very similar to fantasy football, but instead of uh, picking football players, you will pick five companies that you believe are the most sustainable. Now, at the end of the competition, the team that has garnered the most points will win, and they will be, uh, what they win is the opportunity to allocate the prize money to the sustainable development project in the community of their choice. Now, uh, I'm sure you're wondering, how are we possibly gonna judge uh, how sustainable a company is? Well, in a uh, test run that we did with about 10 participants, uh, we used the number of times that a company was referenced for being sustainable in the news. Uh, these, uh, this on the board is a picture of what uh, a sustainable team looks like. And as you can see, it was a really successful test run as there was a lot of points that were uh, accumulated over the course of this week-long test. Now, um, a few things that we learned was that uh, through the technology we used was Google Alerts, and we got a lot of alternative news sources for references. Uh, and uh, we for, uh, foresee uh, for the competition that we will be using uh, mainstream news sources over the accumulation of a month long. Now, also a thing that we learned was that we want to allow people to change their roster on a daily basis, which will allow the uh, user activity on our website to increase. Um, here we have a prototype of what the website could look like. Uh, I just want to highlight that on the uh, middle section, you can see how you can compare your team to what the leaders are looking like uh, to make it competitive, as well as on the bottom, there's information about what a sustainable community investment is and how uh, we have done uh, with uh, previous sustainable community investments. Now, our target market is mostly millennials, so we did a survey at the Stavis where about 15% uh, of Gusties responded saying that they were willing to participate in sustainable activities. Now, uh, that translates to about 500 Gustavus students, 3.6 million uh, college students nationwide, as well as 11 million millennials nationwide. We can also target professional sustainable networks. There's one out there called Net Impact that has almost 100,000 users. Now, how are we going to capture this audience? One way is through college ambassadors. I want to pay a student on campuses across the nation to raise awareness about this game, as well as to uh, pay them for the number of users they get to use this game. Um, I'm thinking it'll be about $5,000 to get the first 10,000 users. And for another route to uh, market is social media marketing. We can use Facebook to target millennials, as well as LinkedIn to target those professional sustainable networks. It'll cost between $25,000 and $50,000 to get 10,000 users. Now, this is based off of uh, how LinkedIn, or sorry, Facebook, you have to, uh, if you want to target a demographic of users, if a lot of other people are targeting that demographic of users, it bids up the price for uh, advertising those users. So that's why the price is variable. Also, community investment will be a very valuable uh, way to spread the word about our competition in the future after we have uh, made a few contributions to communities. So our competitors, one that I want to note is called We Act, and it's uh, based, or built by a college student on a campus in Zurich. And uh, what they've found is that uh, people are not just acting sustainably uh, because they're activists, they are getting people that are not sustainable <coughs> activists to act sustainably. And this is because they uh, reward uh, people with points for uh, paper or posting pictures of themselves acting sustainably on their social media website. And coolchoices.com is another company that's trying to use the idea of making sustainability fun to get people involved. Now, with 20,000 users, we can gain a lot of money through advertising revenue. Uh, advertisers will want to target the demographic that we have because our demographic is going to be dense uh, amount of affluent millennials that uh, think sustainably. So, using uh, some information that we found about how um, 
how much uh, money Facebook, LinkedIn, Yahoo, and Google make per user per year uh, based on online revenue, we think we can get fifty to two hundred thousand dollars in the first year. Now, cost, we already talked about marketing, but uh, the website will be a little bit of a variable cost because we do not know yet how much money it will cost to implement technology to judge the sustainability of the competition and automatically award points to the teams. Uh, also, we'll have to use some of our own money for prize money before we uh, gain sponsorship through uh, other companies. Uh, the future of this company is really bright. I see there's many options for judging sustainability. One such way is using the Global Reporting Initiative, which comes out in May, and basically it's just sustainability reporting. And we can have people choose which companies they think are going to cut down their carbon emissions the most. Uh, as well as we can structure the competition in ways that are makes it more interactive. We can allow people to be in leagues with their friends so that, uh, say, you graduate college and you want to stay in touch with your friends, you can use this game to help uh, facilitate that interaction. Uh, and finally, I just want to see the uh, community investments grow competition after competition, so it's a really meaningful uh, contribution that we will be able to make, as well as potentially uh, setting aside a month out of the year that could be deemed sustainability month. So with that, I just want to say thank you to everyone for being here today. Uh, special thanks to Russ and Marga, our professors, uh, who have been particularly helpful. Uh, my friend, Austin Hilding, as well as Ed Ludwig, who has uh, done a little mentoring for me. So with that, thank you.
Thanks, Carl.